Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In this part, we're going to deliver Miss Professor Oak his package. And this is actually my friggin' third take because Visual Boy Bance is being a complete asshole. But it's okay, I don't really give crap. So yeah, um, right now we're heading back to Professor Oak's lab. Um, oh yeah, what am I saying? So green guy, I actually trained him a little. He's level 12, 10? What? Oh yeah, what, what am I talking about? Yeah, he's level 10 now, and he learned Vine Whip. So that's sick. Like, we need Vine Whip. It's the best move out there. So, I actually forgot to mention this, but if you talk to this guy, he's like, Oh, it's part of me. He basically works at the thing, and he'll give you a potion. And getting free things in the game is always nice. So yeah, right now we're heading back to Professor Oak's lab and like I said many many times, because he has Alzheimer's, he will never remember anything that happened two seconds after he explained it. Oh, Street 11, how is my old Pokemon? It did not belong to you, dude. Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer, you betcha I beat my Pokemon nice and right. What's that? You have something for me? Are you serious, Professor Oak? Are you... Did you really forget? So yeah, we gave him his parcel, and it's his custom Pokemon balls that he ordered. And then Gramps, you know, we arcs coming. I almost forgot. What did you call me for? That made no sense. You almost forgot what you. You know what? Yarg, you and your granddad are both in common, my friend. You both are gonna grow together if you're Alzheimer's, man. So what he's gonna give us is the Pokédex. This is basically. A digital encyclopedia like he said and basically every time you see a Pokemon in the wild it, it records its data but once you catch the Pokemon it adds more to the data it's, it's basically for people who like are obsessed with collecting is what I think and we receive five Pokeballs which is awesome yep let's leave now I want to get started on our adventure I want to like beat this game now I, I don't usually go into a game just thinking about beating it like one of my friends does like he always talks about, man, I want to know the ending of this game. So then right now, Yarg just cussed us if you didn't realize, if you weren't reading the text. Like, tell me if the, in the comments if you guys wanted to read the text or not. Like, if not, just say no. If yes, just, if yeah, just say yeah. So finally, we're getting started on our friggin' Pokemon adventure and expect a lot of wild battles till we get to the second Pokemon because there's no repels yet. <sighs> so yeah, this is my third take. <sighs> uh, stupid wild battle. So yeah, this is my third take on this because the record. Uh, no, I'm just gonna talk because the recording uh, on the Visual Boy Advance keeps on sh failing. I don't know what's going on, but I'm hoping that this works. I'm like praying to the high heavens. I'm praying. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm not going to head straight to the forest. What I'm actually going to do is show you guys a little secret that my friends don't actually don't know about. And the secret is that you can fight Gary a second time after you fought him the first time. That is cool. So here's Gary. Yo oh, I called him Gary. That's bad. His name is Yarg. Hey, Streets 11. You're off to the Pokemon League? Forget about it. Well, why? You probably don't have any badges. Well, I don't. You don't either. The guard won't let you through without them. So, yeah. My head itches. Uh. So, yeah, we're fighting Yarg, our rival, for the ump time. I'm joking a second. So, right now, so he has a Pidgey now, which is amazing because this Pidgey is a pain in the ass. So, we use Sand Attack the first time, usually. And with sand attack means you lower your accuracy, which means you have a lower chance of actually attacking the Pokemon, as you see right now. And this is can get really annoying. I remember once I was facing him and then I was fighting, I was um, battling his Charmander. I did not attack the thing once, and I lost. I lost all my Poke dollars. I was sad. I was crying home. I fell. I fell into mud. I got hit by a truck. I actually, didn't get hit by a truck. That's very greatly exaggerated, by the way. As you'll see, I love to exaggerate my life. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm not like that. So we're still on this 
Pidgey, which is really annoying because I would really expect to kill this thing right now. Yep, still on the friggin' Pidgey, which is stupid. This is the Pidgey, I want to tell you a story. So this morning, I wake up, I get ready for school, I head, I head to the bus stop, and I'm waiting on in the bus stop. And then the bus rolls up, and I put in my ticket, but the bus doesn't move, and the bus driver just stares at me for a couple minutes, and I stare at him, and he stares at me, and we're just staring at each other. Then he's just like, well, and I'm like, yeah, he's like, well, and I'm just like, what is it? And he's like, forgot to put in, forgot your pass. So here in Toronto, basically, when we have like certain like degrees of tickets, there's student tickets, there's children's tickets, and there's adult tickets. I use the student's tickets because I'm a teenager. And basically, you have to prove, because they're lower money depending on the age, you have to prove that you're that age with like the ID pass. But it costs a lot of money though. But the high schools already give you like a little ID thing, but it's not like the official TTC one, which is what we call it here in Toronto. It's called TTC, Toronto Transit Country Place. Yeah. <laughs> that was a complete guess, by the way. So yeah. Oh man, nice shot. So yeah, and I and I show him my, my um, high school ID card. He doesn't accept it. He like yells at me to pay 75 cents, so I do, and that's like half my lunch money. And the thing that really bugs me is, like, the drivers in Toronto, they're so mean. Like, it's not even funny. And I had to use two potions for this battle. That's embarrassing. Yeah, like, the, the, the um, bus drivers and everything in Toronto are so mean to you. Like, they're never, they're usually never happy, basically. This is, like, the second time this happened to me. Like, and it's not like I'm angered or anything, but it's really annoying when you, like, come to it in the other day. And yeah, sorry I haven't, like, it took me so long to record this this uh, part 2, but I had to study for two tests, math and science, and they're easy as crap, I mean, I don't even, like, the old, like, for, what? Oh, thank God. Thank God. I thought that would definitely kill me. Oh, I thought it was the other way around. I thought I got, he got the critical on me. So we defeated Yark for the second time. And he says we lucked out, but we all know he's a noob. So yeah, get the hell out of here, Yark. No one likes you, dude. Like, why do you even play? Why do you even play the game, man? You're not even good enough. You're not even at a uh, green guy's level. So right now, I'm going to the Pokemon Center to get healed up. Then I will get to the forest. So I'll see you guys out of the when I'm done with the Pokemon Center. See you then. And guys we're back and now we're gonna be heading to Viridian Forest. But first, we're gonna get a very, very, very stupid tutorial from this ugly old man who no one likes. Ugh. Man. So yeah, like I said, like, for the millionth time, this is the third time I'm actually recording this. I really hope it works, because if it doesn't, it's really gonna get mad and frustrated. I mean, I don't know what's going on with it. And if it doesn't work, then this is the last time I'm actually gonna record it. Three days, because I need to do homework. Yeah, math homework. Everyone loves that, right? So yeah, are any of you guys excited for like GoldenEye or Donkey Kong Country Returns? Because I might be getting Donkey Kong Country Return. I never actually played the originals. But hey, we all gotta start somewhere, right? So it gives us the TGTV. Like, this is the most useless, I repeat, the most useless item in Pokemon history. It, why am I talking to him for the second time? I don't like you. Please stop talking to me. I'm not really angry. But yeah, it's completely useless. I don't use it, and I never will. Okay? Just trust me. I don't even... Honestly, I think they put the, put it in this game just to fill in an item slot. Honestly. So here we are. We're entering Viridian City. Viridian? What? Viridian Forest. My bad. Okay, guys. I might actually stop it here so yeah i'm gonna stop it here and then in part three we're going to go through viridian